Hello everyone, this is one of our short videos and here I'm going to show you the ballistic pendulum that two of uh, our students in dynamics class made and here uh, we have a plastic impact between a, a metal ball that comes out of this shooting mechanism goes to this pendulum there is a magnet here that keeps the ball in position so the impact basically resembles a plastic impact the ball and the pendulum move together and the pendulum goes up to so many degrees from which you can calculate the velocity of the ball before impact okay so without further ado i'm gonna pass it to uh, our students here to explain and introduce themselves and explain the machine i'm sebastian stevens i'm a sophomore in aerospace engineering I'm Ben Miller. I'm also a sophomore in aerospace engineering. Great. So tell us a little bit more about the machine. So yeah, there's two notches on this uh, the launcher here. The first is about half an inch back and the second one is about an inch back. And the further back you go, uh, you're getting a greater spring force, so a greater velocity when you launch it. And then it launches into the magnets and it stays there just like that. There we go. So now with the smaller speed, you can see it is up to about 15 degrees. Okay, would you show us the other one, please? Yeah. So you just take this off to reset it, take the ball out, get this lined up nice and straight. And now here we go for the second notch, and it should go further up. There we go. So now you're looking at about like 35 degrees or so. So once we have this angle measured, and we have the length of the pendulum, the mass of the ball, and the mass of the pendulum, that should give us enough of equations and enough of data to calculate the velocity of the ball before impact. So now Ben is going to explain that for us. So we have two equations, conservation of energy and conservation of momentum. And basically with the conservation of energy, you're gonna have a starting out kinetic energy and then you're gonna end up with a potential energy. And there you can solve the, fi the final velocity, which then you can plug back into the conservation of momentum, where you can get the initial velocity of the ball shooting out of the pendulum. Yes, launcher. exactly. So the conservation of energy gives you that V prime, the velocity after the impact, plug it back, and that gives you the ballistic velocity VB before impact. So this is a very effective yet simple device that Ben and Sebastian made at an extremely low price, all based on their effort as a project for this class. Thank you both and thank you all for your attention.